Hey, Maria, back with another video. It's 10.19 p.m. and it's September 24th. <laughs> In a few hours, it'll be September 25th, you know? But anyway, I have kind of a cold, so if I sound kind of nasal, I don't know if it's so much a cold or it's allergies. I know there's a lot of dust in here coming through the vents, and I've been sneezing all day, and um, yeah, I think it's a combination of a bunch of different things, but anyway, I was thinking about, um, you know, self-control and freedom and, um, you know, exercising positive or good judgment, and, you know, um, I think some people think that because somebody wants to be autonomous or they want detachment from families that are controlling, they think, well, you just want to do whatever you want to do, and you just, you're, it's an act of rebellion not an act of rebellion, especially when, you know, it was always understood that within a family structure, by the time you're 18, you can do what you want to do, and I'm way all over the past age of 18, and I also, you know, have the same idea about my son, like my son's an adult, he can do what he wants, and everybody should have that right to do that, you know, but some people, <clears throat> some people abuse their freedom, like they do things that are... I don't know, um, some people do things that are immoral, some people do things that are um, hurtful to other people, some people, um, you know, act in a way that's destructive, you know, and just because, you know, I would say that <laughs> everybody knows Maria, she doesn't do much, and even if, let's just say, for example, gang stalking didn't come to, into my life, I would still not be interested in, you know, doing anything that's like, I don't know, something that's going to lead to something that I would regret, you know? I mean, everybody makes mistakes, but I think I've pretty much learned all my mistakes in my, in my earlier years, although I have made some mistakes in my adult years, but I don't think it's anything that warrants, you know, all these people, like, jumping on my shit and trying to prevent me from living the life that I want to live. I think that my goals are, my goals, my aspirations, and my lifestyle are um, actually pretty good. I'm not trying to compare myself to other people, but, you know, um, I guess some people are just used to having someone to, you know, um, connect with, you know, I don't have, like, family obligations or attachments or anything like that, and, you know, um, I know that when I was growing up, you know, my parents would, <laughs> like, my dad, he would spank us for, like, just anything, you know, and as much as I loved and respected my father, you know, I didn't really agree with sometimes their methods of discipline. <clears throat> you know, back in my dad's day, you know, I guess people got the branch, the belt, whatever, and discipline was administered. I'm not really so much to um, teach a lesson, even though, you know, I guess, you know, you get beat a bunch of times and you pretty much straighten your shit out, no, but you don't really learn a lesson. Oftentimes it's, you know, the parents are just venting their frustration out on a kid. And it's not really done out of, you know, providing proper guidance, you know. It really, proper guidance is like, you know, if a kid does something, you explain to them why it's wrong, you know, and you try to understand if, or you try to make them understand why they should feel bad for what they've done and try to correct the behavior. Oftentimes, people just immediately, you know, get out the belt. And like I said, you know, even as a child, I disagreed with that. Now, there are sometimes like the punishment should fit the crime, you know, to where like, you know, let's just say, for example, um, your kid does something really bad, like, I don't know, um, threatens another person's life, okay? Obviously, um, you need to, uh, hopefully, you know, your kid is, is already had that dis you've already had that discussion with your kid you know when he was young or whatever that you don't you know inflict harm on other people but if they're at the age where they're like you know old enough to know the difference between right and wrong after you have given them that lesson and they do it anyway then sometimes sometimes you know you have to lay out some form of physical discipline if that's the only thing that's going to get it through their head. You know, you have to, I guess, you let the punishment fit the crime and use discernment when, before you, you know, administer or you hand out some form of discipline. But whatever it should be done, done, it shouldn't be done because you are frustrated. It shouldn't be done for that reason. It is supposed to correct the path of 
whatever that kid is on and it's supposed to be a lesson to better the child you know so I mean you know I'm um yeah I I do like and I I do like to be autonomous in in my decisions as that's what people freedom is about that's what you're supposed to have in life okay um you know of course when you're in relationships and stuff like that that's something that you have to discuss with you know whoever you're involved in and like for example if I was um in a relationship I would probably talk you know say certain or talk about my issues before I actually do it but um you know I, I think what I do with my freedom is actually I'm, I can't say I'm doing anything constructive right now because pretty much all I'm doing these days is sitting here stressing out worrying about this that and the other thing and I'm depressed okay but let's just say for example gang stalking never happened I probably would be pursuing my goals and doing what I needed to do and I would be doing it with a clear head and feeling and pre, pro, pro, have, I would have progressed further than what I have gotten now but I've always had some sort of blockage some bullshit something going on okay but like if this, all this stuff wasn't going on this is that's exactly what my focus would be on and so man this dust in my this room is just getting out of hand but anyway um so you know it's just basically knowing what's right and what's wrong and living your life according to what you want in life and that's the way you're supposed to live. I know a lot of people get caught up in, in, you know, the opinions of other people. And you have to take what they have to say into account. But people like complete strangers, no. I mean, you, have, I mean, you can't get caught up in that sort of stuff. You only should be concerned about things that, what you do and how it affects other people. And there should be some sort of open communication with that. So, you know... Um, I'm not a I'm not a rebellious person, you know, and I get I would hope that people would be smart enough to see that, you know, just because I don't want, you know, a former boss dictating my life and telling me how I'm supposed to live. That's understandable, okay? Because some people cross boundaries or or over I'm sorry, overstep their boundaries, you know, where it's just not appropriate in the first place. It's like, you know, that's like me going across the street um, to my landlord's house and telling her she needs to change her hair color she needs to be brunette she needs to be brunette although I think she looks great blonde but you know what I mean so it's just my point is, is that it's nobody's business and you know unless of course somebody asks you certain things then you kind of could, could discuss certain things or talk to these people a little bit differently but it, it's all about knowing you know setting boundaries is basically what it is and I have the right to set them you know so I get, I'm, I'm upset about, you know, choices, you know, or people imposing their crap on me. I do. And it's not. Anybody who would think that it's an act of rebellion to stand up for your rights, you know, is, if they think it's an act of rebellion, then something is wrong with these people. You know, it's like everybody should have the right to live their life however they want, as long as they're not hurting other people. And what these people have done, obviously... They have hurt me tremendously with their foolishness. And I'm referring to, you know, we already know who I'm referring about. But still, sorry, I had to blow my nose. You just will not believe the dust in here, okay? It's ridiculous. You know, I opened the window earlier, and it actually helped me a lot because I had the fan blowing towards the window. So a lot of the dust was going out of the house. But, oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's just been one of those days. But no, I'm not a rebellious person. I think everybody in their teenage years goes through, you know, let me sneak this behind my parents' back. Let me do this. Let me do that. If you didn't do those things, I wonder, are you normal? I think there's a, a, a time in people's life where they have to experiment. You know, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right.